Ah, the mania. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, I kind of have mixed feelings towards this. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Tater Meister YouTube channel. So you're probably wondering yourself, why did I click on this? Why did I waste my time? Let me tell you, you're not. You're definitely not wasting your time. Because of Mr. Music. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, well, enough, enough joking around. So, as you all know, The Lion King. Yes, The Lion King is getting a remake. But, a lot of people are calling it live action, and obviously it's not. It's a remake, but not a live action one. I'm calling it The Lion King Version 2, because... That's pretty much what it is. It's Version 2. <laughs> The first, the original version, now we got version 2, coming out next year. Now, a lot of people are like, I'm I'm one of those people that are just like, this could be amazing, or this could be like Beauty and the Beast. I, I hope it's not like Beauty and the Beast, but I don't, I just don't know yet, so. I don't think it can be like Beauty and the Beast, because that was just totally r ridiculous, but I don't think it's going to be like that, but. I love the trailer. The trailer was pretty good. But you shouldn't base things off of trailers because Beauty and the Beast had a good trailer and while the movie was actually sucky. So I don't know. Age of Ultra had a good trailer. The movie was sucky. Blade Run 249 had a good trailer. The movie was sucky. So I don't know. You shouldn't really base things off of trailers. So I don't know. Does It looks good, yeah. But is the movie going to be good? We will see. Granted, it's the same kind of the Jungle Book. And Jungle Book... Some people think it's amazing. I think Jungle Book is okay. The remake is decent. The problem I had with Jungle Book was... Um, they kind of changed a lot of things. And yeah, the changes. some of the changes were good. But some of them kind of pissed me off. So, I don't know. I'm a little bit wary about this. Are they going to keep Lion King the exact same? Or are they going to make this its own thing? That's the question. If they keep it the exact same, then it's going to be predictable. And well, then... Great, I guess... It's going to please people. But if they change some things, then... It couldn't have been great. I don't know. I want them to change things, but not change the things to the point it feels like Jungle Book. You know, because Jungle Book felt like it wasn't even like the old one. I mean, it was like... This, is this really a remake? It doesn't even feel like the old one. I don't know. At least the King Kong 2005 felt like the old one. Granted, he changed some things, but it still felt like the old King Kong. That's what I love about Peter Jackson's 2005 film. It's a remake... It's a it's the best remake of all time. Nothing's ever gonna top that. But the question is, can John Favreau remake The Lion King? We'll find out in summer twenty nineteen. Now, I think the biggest plus here are my positives towards this remake. The positives of the remake is that we got Hans Zimmer, who did the original Lion King score, returning to do this score. We got James Earl Jones, who did the voice of Mufasa, returning to do Mufasa. And we got Donald Glover doing Simba, which is, I think, a vast improvement of Matthew Broderick. And not to get me wrong, I like Matthew Broderick as Simba. I just couldn't take his voice seriously in the movie. I'm just like, Matthew, like, what? <laughs> I can't take you seriously as Simba. Donald Glover, on the other hand, he's going to destroy Matthew Broderick's form, without question. Forget Matthew Broderick ever played Simba. Donald Glover has got this in the bag, 100%. Now, what I am worried about I think the biggest thing I'm worried about is Troyful Evergeor playing Scar because uh, how, I don't know how you're going to top Jeremy Irons as Scar, but I'll see what you do, buddy. You might be good, but I'm a little bit worried. I just don't know. What is he, is he going to put it? What is he going to do with Scar? Now, this is a parallel to Idris Elba playing what's um, Shere Khan in the new in the new Jungle Book movie. I think he's going to do his own thing. Idris Elba as Shere Khan was unreal. I th was it Idris Elba? I, I, hold on, I have to look that up. Yeah, it is Idris Elba. Idris Elba killed it as Shere Khan. Granted, I'm pretty sure Benedict is going to be the best one because he's going to combine the old Jungle Book Shere Khan with the new one, so it's going to be fantastic. But Idris Elba's Shere Khan was very unique and very aggressive and very terrifying. I loved him. That Shere Khan was the best part of the second of the remake. It, that's what I loved about the Jungle Book remake was Shere Khan. He just was so much more terrifying than the old one. But my con with that was he was too terrifying, which I think that was the problem. 
Great villain, though. I do think that Scar in the new one is going to be a little more terrifying, but at the same time, I have the charm of the old one, because this is Trophil Effajor, and Trophil Effajor is a really great actor, so... Sorry, hold on. Now, another thing I'm a little worried about is Nala's voice actor, Beyonce. I don't know if that's a good choice or not, because I really love the old Nala voice actor, so replacing her is kind of a weird choice, but hey, more power to you. It's just weird that this new one is mostly black people voicing the cast. Granted, Rafiki is the same, is almost the same voice actor. Seth Rogen's voicing to Pumbaa, which might be good. The Timon voice actor sounds good. I just don't know. There's a couple cons. Here's my cons with the film. Uh, my cons with the remake is simple. Did we really need this? <laughs> That's my biggest con. Do we really need a version 2? I want to see. If, is this movie really going to be worth it? Is it really needed? I don't know. Because the biggest thing I gripe I'm going to have is if they kill Mufasa again. Because I don't want to go through that again, honestly. I was already scarred for life. I don't want to get scarred twice, okay? Honestly, if they actually do the Mufasa death scene in the remake, it's going to be even worse than the animated movie because we're seeing him die in 3D. That ain't, It ain't like the animated movie. It's going to be even worse. It's going to be even more sad. It's going to be even darker, okay? This is 3D. This is CGI. This is not just animation this time. It's a little... Go it's going to be much harder to sit through. Granted, it's going to be probably better than the old scene, but it's going to be freaking hard to get through. I am probably going to have to get out of the theater when that happens. I, I, I don't know how I'm going to sit through that scene. I just don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to sit through that. I'm just going to be like, oh, I can't do this again. i gotta, I got to get out. Ugh. Plot twist, Mufasa's not going to die. I'm pretty sure he will die, but oh well. <laughs> a boy can help. A guy can help, right? I'm sorry. It would be nice. I don't know how many things they're going to change for the new one, but they're obviously going to keep the same song. It's not going to be like the Jungle Book movie where... That's the thing, biggest gripe I had about the Jungle Book film was that the songs were hardly in the movie. Like, really, they <laughs> they weren't even in the movie. I mean, they, they played snippets of them, but they weren't even in the movie. It's like, okay, really? I don't I like the, the orangutan song with uh, Christopher Walken. He was voicing the orangutan. That song was okay. He, he been doing that was okay, but like... I don't know, the main song of the movie, A Bear Necessities, is only paid for like fifth, like 30 seconds. I'm like, I get it, Burma Murray's really not a great singer, but still, come on guys. I don't think they're going to do that for Lion King. I think they're only going to have a couple songs in the Lion King remake, but they're going to play the whole thing. They're not just going to be like, okay, we're just going to play a snippet and let's just move on. No, they're not going to do that. It's, it's, No. <laughs> If John does that, I'm going to be pissed. Like, really? Lion King songs are amazing. You can't just skip them. Like, really? No. <laughs> I think the two main songs they're definitely going to play is Akuna Matana. Without question, they're, they're going to play Akuna Matana. And they're going to play I Can't Wait to Be King. Those are the two songs in the remake they are definitely going to do. Without question. I'm just telling you right now. They have to do those. <laughs> those are the two most famous songs in the movie. They might... Now, they might... Do the scar song. They might. I'm not saying they will or not. That's not confirmed. Because, first off, if they do the scar song with the villain scar, I don't think Chua Fajor can do it because think about it. He can't sing. Like, how are they going to do that part? They, they can't do that. They can't do scars. Chua Fajor can't sing. I don't think he can. If he can, that would blow my mind, but I don't think he can. Um, I think that there's only going to be two songs in the whole movie, guys. I hate to say this. There's only going to be two. Because they don't want to take away from the actual movie. Granted, look, I love the original Lion King, but honestly, the original Lion King didn't even need that many songs. It was great, even without, even with those just those two songs. It had a lot more music than that. But look, honestly, they're only gonna play two songs in the movie, and the remake. I mean, and honestly, I'm fine with that because I just want to focus on the remake. I just want to focus on the story this time. The music is already gonna be great. It's Hans Zimmer. He already did the original. He's going to do it again. And he's going to kill it. So, All right, guys. That's all I'm going to say about Lion King version 2. So thank you all for watching. And yeah. I guess I'm a little bit hyped for this remake. But 
I'm a little bit nervous too. I don't want it to end up like Beauty and the Beast. I don't want it to be a horrible remake. And I want it to be better than Jungle Book at least. And I want it to be good because I'm I'm definitely have no faith in the Aladdin remake. The Aladdin remake is automatically going to be bad. There's just I don't see any possible way they can make the Aladdin movie good. But I could be wrong. I don't know. But I feel like Disney needs to stop remaking everything. But I am excited for the Mulan remake though. But thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye.